All right, it is summer of 2018, and a new season of weather means a new season of anime. And if you're not weirdos like us who like it to be 100 degrees outside, you probably want to spend most of the summer inside in the air conditioning watching anime. That's right. Uh, let's first, before we get into the, the summer season, let's talk about the spring season. Uh, Yoa Petal was what I expected. Well, of course it was what you expected. You keep watching it. <laughs> sure. Uh, I watch, I think, one episode of that Hina Matsuri show. I forget how we judged it, but nope. I think it's a show that had some good aspects that were interesting, but had too much, like, fanboy, like, appeal to otakus with little girls with guns. Yeah. That, or yeah. what, and, and magical powers, and that did not appeal to me. Uma Musume was also almost exactly what we expected. We except, thought it was going to be a sports show, but it was an idol show. Well, it's a sports show and an idol show. Mm. It's both. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason to watch it. You don't need to watch it, even though it's horse girls. But of all the, the things, I forget when we judged it, because I don't know if it was Or I don't even it. know if we judged it. Yeah. It might have been from before. But I think the standout anime that's the most recent one we've watched is actually Made in Abyss, which is pretty great. It has a high anime tax. <laughs> I heard that the, the manga has some issues, though. So maybe the manga stick, has a higher stick tax. Stick to the anime, maybe. Yep, but the anime is good. Season 2 will come, but... That one, I hope we judged it. Oh, I hope we were right about it. And the last it. one is, uh, I forget what the name of it, Wotakoi, the one with the otakus dating. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much, we judged it exactly right, I think. Yeah. So, at least, I don't remember what we judged, but I feel like I the show was exactly what I expected it to be. And along those lines, actually, Agretsuko was actually better than I expected. Mm -hmm. But not A-plus anime, but still good. Yeah, better we, than expected. Yeah. All right. So we did actually watch a bunch of anime last season. <laughs> Let's see what's going on this season. So oh, dear God. More Shingeki no Kyojin. Yeah. So Shingeki no Kyojin is Attack on Titan. I only ever watched season one. I, well, I, watched... I read a bunch of manga and then I got rid of it all. Yeah. So I watched season one. I bought like 11, 12 volumes of manga. And, and I feel like not my, on my shelf anymore. My interest in Attack on Titan what peaked at the last episode of the first season of the anime. And then there were the OAVs, which were not enjoyable. And then I read a bunch of spoilers, and now I just don't care at all. I really have no interest. Like, in I know the plot of this show, and it's not... This is not my show. I just wanted to know what was in the basement, and now that someone told me... You want to know what's in the basement? Someone told me what was in there, yeah. and it's not good. Yeah. It's not... I wish I didn't know. The... I think the story of Attack on Titan would be good if it were, like, two seasons long worth of anime. Total. Not two seasons, just to not even get to the fucking basement yet. Yep. All right. Uh, let's move on. Overlord so, yeah. 3. So we've talked about Overlord, like, every single time we've done this. And we never watch it. And we don't know what the hell Overlord is. But of is. all the images I have seen to tell me about this show, this one tells me to watch it. Yeah, this one is a skeleton that's obviously some sort of lich. Yeah. And that makes me want to watch this show. And, and like, disembodied mouths in the distance. I'm feeling this. This feels very, like... High, like, high berserk fantasy nonsense. And yeah. I kind of like that stuff. I haven't seen a show like that in a while. <laughs> I still don't know anything about it. But Maybe this is just Inferno Cop, like, his uncle. That would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they keep making this Overlord. Someone must be watching it. I feel like we should give it a shot we'll at give, this point. Maybe we'll hear about some Overlord next uh, next season in the, in the fall. All right, didn't we just talk? Oh, okay, so there was... FLCL Progressive, we talked about this last time, yep. and now it's FLCL Alternative. I tried to watch the first episode of FLCL Progressive on the Adult Swim website. They did not yet have the subtitles and Japanese audio that they promised. Those are coming later, so I didn't watch it. It's dub only for now. So we gotta wait? So, I mean, we could watch the dub. Yeah, I feel like, dub. honestly, I feel like this is just gonna be more of the same from the original FLCL, and I feel like, because it's an old enough show, a lot of people haven't actually watched it. So I feel like anyone who's interested in these new ones should watch the original one first, and that will tell you 100% if you want to see more of it or not. Yeah. So yeah, I guess they promised they would do progressive and alternative. Here's alternative. It's coming. So there you go. Satsuriku no Tenshi. 13-year-old Rachel awakens. Oh, it's, wait. An it's an RPG. I can tell already. Just wait, wait, wait. Awakens. But trapped in a basement. Uh, I, I, I'm already worried. It's Attack on Titan oh, adjacent. She, she didn't awaken in her own bed with her mom sending off an adventure? No, basement of an abandoned building. Uh-oh. With, no, with no memories? All that right. reminds me of that show where the guy was naked in front of the White House. Eden of the East. Yeah. Which, full disclosure, Eden of the East is a, is a show where literally every episode was worse than the previous one until it's unwatchable. Yeah. I <laughs> the watched the whole thing, though. And I, so I, did, did I. I wish I didn't. But that first episode was an A-plus anime. 
Hard to say with this one. I don't see any warning it signs. It feels like one of those scenario things, right? Yeah. You know, where it's like, oh, it's like the th like the three nine DS game. It's one of the J Japan loves those stories where like people are put in a weird scenario with no memory and they this puzzle. <laughs> yup. So it's more of those. There's a lot of these. But I kind of like those shows. If they're I like them good. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I like that weird head guy in the back. Yeah. With the uh, weird oh, circle the, head. The pumpkin head with yeah. the hair. Okay, or the whatever that is. All right. Grand Blue. It's a bunch of dudes jumping into off a boat onto an ocean. So I see a bunch of hot boys in the front and hot girls in the back. Uh, this Men is that be... love diving and alcohol. Beautiful ocean, beautiful women, diving and alcohol. You know what this might be like? This might be like Moonlight Mile. Well, it's a Kitahara Iori begins his college career. He's trying to live his dream college life. I wonder if this is, I mean, this... Golden could, Boy crossed with Moonlight Mile. I mean, it feels like there's some harem action here, but there's dudes and ladies, so it's a harem for everybody. You know what it might but be, But it though. could be, there could be, like, I feel like there's a sprinkling of a Harry's Greenwood here. Mm. People trying to live a great college life. I'm a little worried, though, because we see, I see right there, it's an adaptation of a manga, and... The, it looks, it focuses more on particularly... The cover of the manga is, is that girl's half leg. leg. Yeah. yeah. That that worries me a little bit. Yeah. I'm getting almost more but of But also a... dude, though. It yeah. could be a uh, equal opportunity. Here's my real guess. It follows the dude, Golden Boy style, and it's half him hanging out with his friends and him trying to get laid. Mm. That's my actual guess. Yeah. Anyway. Isekai Mao Toshokan Warning Shoujo signs. No nope. Dore Matsu. Nope. nope, that bunny girl in the back looks young, and those breasts in the middle look atrocious. This show is bad. It's based on some MMO thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Warning sign novel. number two. Alright, do not watch this. Demon Lord something. Yeah. So I don't know if this is a show about people who are in an RPG, like that old trope, or if it's literally just in an RPG. Yeah, but I see way too many underage bunny girls, and that green dress girl is giving me yeah. the worst possible warning. Alright, we'll just go right past that. Yep. Yuragi So no Yuna san. It looks like one of those fantasy shows that incorporates, you know, the Shinto action, right? You know, there's a Japanese castle in the back, but the priestess cat girl has giant boobs that yep. are coming out big Warning time. signs again. Uh, and I think it's a harem show because there's one dude in the front and then mad cat yep. ladies all around. And the dude looks pretty generic. Very cheap boarding house. It's a dude who gets stuck in a boarding house full of ladies so we're like love Hina but with some ancient Japanese and some yeah. magic. Yeah, listen. If you're going to watch some crappy old harem show, watch Tenchi Muyo. It was the first one and I'm not saying it's good. I don't know if it's the first harem show ever. It's the first one I think that fits into our modern mold. Uh -huh. We'll have to do some research on what the first harem. Though for was. most anime fans, I feel like Love Hina in the U.S. was the one where they like discovered. Most that anime genre. fans probably don't even know what Love Hina is. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, this looks like a harem show. No need. I'm saying low rent Tenchi. Banana Fish. Whoa, so, Banana Fish is getting some anime. So Banana Fish is like a famous old manga that I never actually read, so I don't know what it's about. But it's like it's famous enough that I recognize. Ah, that's the name of that famous manga that I keep seeing in the discount bins. Yeah. Only cool people buy it. Uh, I actually don't know what Banana Fish is about, but now that it's being animated, I will probably almost definitely watch this. I'm definitely going to watch this. Blah, blah, blah. He's This dude is a cold, ruthless killer, runaway, brought up, adopted, heir and sex toy of Papa. Okay. Yeah, I think what will happen is either A, this anime will replace the manga, I don't want you to read the manga, or the anime won't cover enough material, and then I'll go back to, if it's any good, I'll go back to the manga to get the whole story instead of continuing to watch yep. the anime. I will watch the beginning of the anime, because I too have not actually read Banana Fish. Yeah, I don't know what it's about, but it's a famous old manga, super famous, so probably worth watching. Alright. Island. Nope. It looks like some girls on island. Five uh, years ago, the island's three great families suffered a series of misfortunes and such. He's saving the island and only three families. So it looks like there's three... Wait, a lone man washes ashore. All the right, man so claims to be from the future. So there's a weird island with three families. I guess these char three girls are the main characters, one from each family. I don't one of them is the sailor family, one of them is the different colored sailor family, and one of them is the... Japanese priest. I family. do not trust the character design of this show. I do not trust this show. No. This is not getting watched. No. All right. Chio chan <laughs> <laughs> no Tsugakuro. The dramatic, extreme, going to school comedy manga. All right. All right. All right. The fish in the background. 
and the person jumping in the background combined. A biker gang and the urge to use the bat. Uh, uh, this gives me a feel of, you know, a school comedy. This gives me a the, feel of the outrageous variety. You mentioned Here is Greenwood. This feels way more Here is Greenwood. It, this feels to the clo in, but somewhere between Here is Greenwood and Cromarty. It's obviously yeah. not, it's not Cromarty level. <laughs> but that fish is like, that's like a little sousant of Cromarty. Right, I'm hoping it's better than, um, what's the one with the perfect dude? Oh, that show was not actually. It did incredible. not live up to expectations. The whatever it's called, the the, the show about the perfect guy. That yep. was also a school comedy. Uh, this Fun fact: We judged that one the last time we did this as a panel. We judged person. it very well, and it wasn't bad, but yeah. it wasn't as great as I thought. So here's hoping for more school comedies that are actually great and not, you know, it'll, hopefully this will be better than the. Perfect I should read more Kermarty manga because I have it all. Yeah. Right. Okay. Backstreet Girls, but there's a Yakuza? What is Wait, a group doing? of three Yakuza failed their boss for the last time? All right. All right. Honorably commit suicide or go to Thailand and get sex reassignment surgery to become female idols. Okay, this could be problematic. I don't like that females in quotes here. So three dudes, they either have to be kill themselves because they failed the Yakuza boss or go to Thailand... Change into ladies even though they don't, they're not transgender. They're just being forced to have the surgery when they're not transgender, which is fucked up. And then they have to train as idols and then come back and be idols. This is just a fucked up, like, who sister wrote, act. Who wrote this? This is Sister Act 3. Oops. Now it gets weird. This is fucked fuck up. The last sentence there, this is where their tragedy truly begins. I feel like... Do we get in trouble for saying the F word on YouTube? No. Okay, good. I feel <laughs> like this anime is going to not only be bad, but probably be specifically problematic. Even the description is offensive. Yeah. All right, next. Happy Sugar Life. Oh, hell no. There's a tall girl and a little girl, and they're in bed together. Nope. What else do I got to say? Uh, she meets the child, Shio, for whom she is convinced she feels true love for the first time. From where did she acquire the little girl? Next. Hataraku Saibo. The average human body contains 60 trillion cells. Uh, is this oh, a... it's one of those science-y shows, like the, ba remember the bacteria one? Yeah. This is one of those where it's like... right? Yeah, yeah, it's, so it's gonna be like that. This is about, um... Zoom in all the cells in the body doing their bullshit. Oh, we have this a shot. This could be fun. Mm -hmm. Shows like that can always be fun. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be one of those shows that's, like, educational about health and the, the, you know, I guess the immune system mostly. But It'll also. probably be a little cute and a little moe at times. I feel like this is the kind of show that Katsu would be really into. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but yeah, this, I like shows Silent like Silent but deadly white blood cells to the brainy neurons. Yeah, I'll give, I'll watch an episode Or maybe it's where, I think it's, oh, you know what, no, you know what this is? I know what this is. That character, see the the character who's carrying the, the box? I think she's just a she, red blood cell. She is a red blood, right. She's yeah. like the main character. She's a red blood cell. She carries the oxygen yeah. around. Yeah. So all the different, it's like the she's other. She's going to interact with all the other cells in the body. All the, all the cells in the body are like characters doing their job. I did hear about this show, actually, I'll in, give in this, advance. I'll give this a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hakurana Receive. I guess it's summer, so we're getting lots of people who are scantily clothed at the beach. Short girl playing volleyball in the tournaments. So but this, this is like DOA, but volleyball, the show, except less giant boobs, but still pervy high school girls. This is definitely softcore pornography for people who don't know where to search. Yes, all right. <laughs> High score girl. Oh, the, the faces of those three characters actually really make me want to uh, watch those this. eyeballs. So <laughs> it's 1991. And someone only has... Destroys him in Street Fighter 2 specifically. Yeah, boy. Not only does he lose to her 30 times Oh, and look at the manga. It looks the same way. I'm into this already. I'm way into this. So it's basically kids going to the arcade in 1991. Uh, but it's going to be real games from the 90s. I'm all about this. Street Fighter 2. I'm all about this. All right, we found one. I'll watch yeah, that. Yeah, this. this is looking good. High score girl. Let's go. All right. Tenro, Sirius, the game. Is this the darker than black? Let's see. <laughs> All right. I bet I could put, I could start darker than black, and if I didn't show you the title, you wouldn't know if it was darker I than would, black. I would, because I looked up again to make sure I remember that I wasn't conflating darker, darker than black with some other show. No, it's that show. Uh. Is this darker than black crossed with Helsing? Strange group of people carrying musical instrument cases. They're the Jaegers who yep, hunt proper vampires. Yep, proper noun people who hunt something 
Oh, uh, the vampires aren't proper nouns. They're... I can't lie, this actually does feel like a darker than black. Uh, you see? <laughs> Remember, proper that... nouns, vampire hunting, ooh. Yup. Whatever. Werewolves are involved as well. Yeah. You know what? If you want a show like this, just go watch Vampire Hunter D. Mm -hmm. It it's has less characters. Yeah. And is better. All right. Free Dive to the Future. Isn't or this, free. Isn't this Swimming Boys? Yeah. Can't go wrong with Swimming Free was boys. a really good show. If you liked Free, watch more of it. If you didn't watch Free, watch Free. If you want to see boys swimming, and that is uh, more sexy and less comedic than Yoa Pedal, where the boys are biking, and also super watch this show. Also super realistic. Like, it's actually just a real drama about real people swimming. Mm-hmm. All right. Hanebado! Yeah. Uh, high school badminton. Is this like high cube but badminton, except this girls with giant boobs? I saw Anna Twitter talking about it, but they were focusing on the sports aspect. That image focuses more on a certain other as on the talent aspect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like though this probably could be just a, a like high cube only yeah. girl, girls playing badminton. I can uh, see that because the so yeah. Yeah, this this, this could show. be okay. Yeah, all right. Shichisei no Subaru in what? the popular MMORPG World Union. This this seems another MMO show like the other one. But dude, the character in uh, Hexine was also named Subaru. What's with Subaru being the name of the characters in these MMO shows? That's a good question. Childhood friends, elementary schools exceed the limit of the game with their various senses. This just does not... I wonder how this differs from the other MMO show we just saw, right? Plus, the guy with this, the, the, the dude, like, main character dude with his hand out like this, yep. that typical anime poster pose. Yep. I always remember that from, uh, what was it, Scryde? Had yeah, that Scryde had that. Scryde had that poster. And then the big person facing to the right, and then the other, like, the square boss to the left. This looks like, if you just look at the poster, it's like, you might as well call that poster generic anime, the poster. <laughs> oh, one of his party members and his childhood friend who died six years ago is, like, he meets her in the game. Is oh, she a no! Is she a digital ghost, or I don't... Don't watch any show that is set in an MMO unless the internet says it's actually good. That's right. Okay. Josh and Chen Dropkick. It's, you got uh, Lolita girls with chainsaws. Slapstick comedy about delusional girls, demons with a tail of a cobra. That girl's got a chainsaw. Goth gothic Lolita demon girl. So, I mean, if you're into the goth Loli action, this might be an okay show. This looks like it might be violent and funny. Yeah. And if it's perverted, it'll be in a violent and funny way. Usually the God Lolita stuff isn't perverted. It's, yeah. You know. But I feel like this show even is though just... it contain, Just because it contains the word Lolita, it doesn't actually have much to yeah. do with actual Lolita. But this looks like it a might book. just be a, like, violent comedy. Yeah, this could be... It could be even... Uh, there was a, another God Lolita show, I remember, that was, like, an action show where they, like... I remember the first episode. I forget what it was called. They, like, parachuted into this base and, like, shot everyone up or something. Wasn't that just but they were all, No, They were all wearing, like, God Lolita <laughs> costumes. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, Suno Haraso, yeah, no, no, Hanrin Rinsan. Sir, no, that image alone. A dude being treated like a girl due to his feminine look, so he moves to Tokyo to attend a middle school to change himself. Uh, whatever awaits his new home. He's being crushed by four breasts in oh. that image. Oh, that oh. This show is not good. Yeah, okay, we're gonna move on. Oh, Shukan Kanrikoku Tonegawa. This looks like Akagi. Well, it looks it's like a, it's a, No, it's a biz. Oh, yeah, the art style does look like Akagi. Yeah. You're right, but it's about business somehow. The chairman commands them to spearhead Game of Death, an evil project that employs debtors. <laughs> he rallies direct reports and scrambles to form Team Tonegawa to encounter. A br so it's like some mega CEOs of business engaging in some game with each other. But it also looks comedic and silly. I Kai oh spin off of Kaiji. Yep, there we go. We did recognize that art style. Yep. So Kaiji is about uh, mahjong, right? Yep. So this is not about mahjong, <laughs> but it. Uh, well, I hope it has a structure that is, you know, actually like a serial plot. Yeah. This, yeah. So this actually could be good if you take the energy of Kaiji and apply and the art style of Kaiji and apply it to not mahjong. Yeah. This could be good. I'm, oh, well. fe I'm feeling this. I kind of well, want to watch a few episodes. I think this is the most positive we've been on a season of anime so far. Maybe. I, you know, well, no, actually, I feel like there's a few more bad shows. Than, yeah. Uh, it's, it seems like this one is like either hit or miss. We had a lot. Last season was a lot of meh shows. Mm. Here we're getting lots of hits and also big, also do not watch it. Yep. Let's keep going and see what happens. Asobi Asobase. Surreal gag comedy. All right. Oh, three classmates who play hand games like, like this kind. I assume so. 
that, that kind of hand game. Uh, they always lost, oh, but they always lose and have to do chores. One was American and raised in Japan who pretends to be bad at Japanese. But it's a, it says it's a surreal gag comedy, even though it doesn't look like it. I mean, Nichi Joe is a surreal gag comedy. Maybe this could have something, because the poster doesn't look like surreal gag comedy at all. No, unless it's And the manga picture that they show there looks even different. Yup. So it's like I'm getting three mixed messages. The description, the poster, and the manga cover are giving me three totally different feels. So I think I think you gotta watch this to find out. But because of that, it's like I'm so intrigued. Yeah. No. I am intrigued. Yeah. Asobasi. Uh, no, Asobi. Asobase. Asobase. All right, next one. Shakura no Hao to Seiyaku no Valkyria. This is some generic urban legends, fantasy, adventure, people got their boobs hanging out. Oh, he, he, he takes a selfie at a shrine and gets taken to a fantasy world and does fantasy he world stuff. He has to stuff. bring the wolf clan to prominence. Whatever, Loren Elhazard. Whatever, <laughs> all right. Uh, Kyoto Teramachi Sanjo no Holmes. Is it something detective -y? This has to be Holmes? light antique mystery. Mm -hmm. Revolves around a spiteful, handsome Kyoto boy and a high school girl. There's in an antique shop. Oh, this could be one of those like wholesome yeah. kind of shows. I mean, you know, almost like a Phoenix Wright, only not as uh, comedic, right? Yeah. Just like oh, we're you know we're in an antique shop, and every episode there's some mystery. And we it's probably going to be relating like relating to one of the antiques in the shop, where someone brings something into the store, and we go out and figure it out. I'm feeling a little slice of life, a little like mystery solving, and a little rom com, all mm -hmm. mixed in. Yeah, yeah, all right, this could be okay. Yeah, this could be okay. And go more, <laughs> Genko Kasenki. <laughs> Uh, epic adventures, a samurai defending Japan against... So it's a historic, I think, kind of thing. But it isn't like Jubei-chan or whatever, or any of those nonsense shows. This looks like it's more serious? Yeah, I think it's actually a serious historical adaptation of, like, something that may or may not have happened, right? Yeah. Or, like, a, you know, a dramatic... Like, the historical thing that happened, the Mongol invasion of 1274 was real. Yep. But then... The, um, this the, will be the a... plot is made up characters, dramatization, etc., yeah. etc. Et Shows like that can be okay. Yeah. Hit or miss. There's no, there's no warning signs Historical here. Historical drama is good, yo. All right. Oops, what happened? Uh, Shoujo Star. Kageki Review Starlight. This is, is the first... Idol show? It's the first idol show so far. Yeah, all right. It's idol show, I think. Um, looks like an idol show. There's literally nothing to say about it except it's an idol show, and it's a... If you're gonna watch an idol show, just watch the one with the horse but racing. But it's a, it's a lot of characters idol show, not a one character idol show. Yeah, I mean, just watch the horse racing one if you need an idol show. Yeah, because that one's at least really well animated. And maybe someone's really into these particular idols, though. No. Eh. Yeah. Phantom in the Twilight. Wow, that was the easiest to pronounce name <laughs> yet. <laughs> cafe Forbidden. In London, a mysterious cafe that only opens at night. The protagonist of the girls in London to study abroad... She meets the handsome men who work in this place. Oh, it's one girl, many dudes in the secret cafe. Yeah. Exploring, but there's also a supernatural element. My trouble is... So I'm... it actually reminds me sort of like a Twilight, the one with the vampire dudes. Yeah, but... I it think all... it's going to be that kind of thing, where there's a supernatural element, one girl, and many dudes. No, I'm definitely judging it by its cover, but based on That's that... That's what we do. That's what the whole show is about. Based on that image, I'm almost getting a white cruise, white cross feeling, in the sense that this does not look like it'll be well produced or well animated and it'll probably be a lot of characters talking let's at see each who other. the studio is the studio is Liden films never heard of them yeah all right yeah muhyo to roji no mahoritsu sodan jimusho <laughs> i'm oh. doing my best on these names it's, it's two experts in magic law dealing with evil spirits and it looks like one of them is like the nice kid and one of them's the <laughs> This looks fun. Yeah, it reminds me actually a little bit of Dean Angel, the one where this yeah the, two, the one boy who's the nice white angel and the other boy. Oh, who's the, the manga they're even angel. starker. The difference, skinny happy kid and yeah. I kind of like yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course you like yeah. I kind of want to maybe watch one episode just to see if yeah is funny enough to make me want. Well, because yeah, 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 probably is a lot like Kitaro. Oh, it does give me a Kitaro vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. He's up to no good. Oh, I did watch uh, some episodes of the new Kitaro. So did I. It's pretty good. It's okay. It's not great, but it's... Lord of Vermilion. That sounds familiar. Guren no O. Tokyo in 2030. Why is this giving me an X vibe? Because the background of the poster is black with a splash of red on it. Yup, and it's set in like a future Tokyo. And the boy on the cover is making this pose. Yeah! <laughs> and the other guy is making this pose. <laughs> But the people in the background are definitely their allies and not the villains because they're the same size as them. There's not one big head in the back. Mm -hmm. 
some incident, they lose consciousness. Hidden blood powers. This is just X. People get blockaded in Tokyo. Yep, this is X. It's fucking X. It does feel similar to X. It's just X. Uh, Studio Azreed. I am unconvinced that this is anything but X, because also, there's so much text, we have to click read more to see more of it. This is X. Planet Wish. What? Is it a robot show for kids? I think it's a robot show for kids. I think it's a robot show for kids. Because that robot has great eyes. Oh my god, he does. (laughs) Kid robot show. If you you need a kid robot show, here you go. Yeah. Ongaku Shoujo. Idol show? Yep. Slightly preferred. Wait, they're a C-list idol group. Okay. Obscure, low-selling C-list idol group. That could be funny. I'm not feeling like this is going to go anywhere, though. No, it's idol show. Uh, Sukuma... (laughs) Tsukumogami Kashimasu. Edo period romance? Mm-hmm. But there's also cute characters in the corner with faces and stuff. They seem like they talk. People rent instead of buy because it floods there in that ward. This looks like historical drama romance comedy. But cute characters that talk. That wait like, a minute. It's like a bat and a pumpkin head. Oh, thing. wait a minute. So people rent stuff instead of owning it because they have to flee the floods occasionally. <coughs> Oh, oh, yeah, they see and talk to spirits. <laughs> yeah, and the spirits are, like, inhabiting the things that people have rented over the hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. All right. That's going to be more of a, like, Mushishi vibe, then. This could be interesting. I, I did see some shows similar to this. There was a show, I forget the name of, where a girl, uh, or was it a dude? The character, the main character moved to a new town yeah. and ended up renting in the cheapest place, and it was a house full of ghosts. Oh. Right, so this feels a little bit like that. Gint- I, thought, Gint- I thought Gintama ended. Didn't I, we just talk about last season how, like, it was the final season of Gintama or well, something? Well, maybe this is Gin no Tamashien. Oh, this is the second season of the end of Gintama? I guess. You know what? <laughs> maybe they were joking because it's Gintama and it wasn't actually the final season. That would be great if it just goes out of, like, to... Here's the deal. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you've seen any Gintama, you know if you like Gintama. It's the same thing Apparently forever. it's not going to end ever, even though we thought it was going to end. So. I really like Gintama, and I occasionally watch a random episode. Hmm. All right. Senjushi. Uh, Historical something. It looks, they look like oh, a Oh, post-nuclear little... war, so this is like... Oh, really? Because they look somewhat, they, they look like French Revolution kind of outfits, right? This With looks like... With and fancy hats. This looks like the second part, the second third of Canical for Leibovitz, like that era oh, of so even though it's a post, so it's a post-apocalypse, but then they threw on the musketeer aesthetic onto the post-apocalyptic world, so they can get both. Yeah. It's like Fist of the North Star plus Rose of Versailles. <laughs> but that's chapter two of Canticle for Leibovitz, in a way. It's yeah. that era. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, you're right. They fight with the antique guns that were left as works of art, and, yep. So they basically find musketeer-type stuff in a museum or something, and, all right. All right. Yume Okoku to Nemureru 100 Nino oji I see multiple stuffed animals. Dream eaters known as Yumekui. Save the world. The princes from all the kingdoms was joined their power. Uh... Some Night Kingdom. It's a fantasy thing, but there's a cute bunny creature thing. What's up with that? I can't tell what's going on with this show. I don't know. It's like fantasy plus cute, but also a dude who looks modern. But I, think the, I think the little it's animal like dude this, is a butler. This is, you know what this is? This is like if someone took Final Fantasy 20 or whatever. Yeah. And just made an anime of it yeah. instead of making a game. It feels like a Final Fantasy. You got it, right? No, it feels like a double you digit. Got a, you got a Chocobo equivalent. You got a Cloud equivalent. You got a, you got, you this know. is a double digit Final Fantasy. Right. Anyway. Uh. Agu Tensai Ningyo. Is that Santa Claus in the background? I is an ordinary girl and a dancer. Her friend is also a dancer, but a genius. So the friend is the genius. Uh, the friend's talent makes the main character feel bad because they're not a genius. Uh, and there's little creatures that are palm-sized entities who grant genius talent Oh, she, to she's people. a genius because she has this creature, not because she's actually a genius. Uh, and then they, ha- they have to save someone because of the danger of the seamstresses. Interesting. All right. I don't know what's up with this. Uh, it feels Studio, weird. Studio Dean. Yeah, this could be this. This I don't know. I don't know how to judge. This, this is quite different from most animes, which a maybe, of, maybe, maybe makes it. I think it's worth watching. Is it just because it's so different? It's got a bunch of proper nouns. It's got the little creatures that like are the size of, of your palm. That reminds me, dumbly enough, even though I don't think the show is going to be like it. But all I can think of now is Jibaku. <laughs> Mm, nothing like that. No. All right. 
Zoid Wild. It's Zoids. Yep. I can't believe they're still making Zoids. There are kids that still like Zoids. I guess. I feel like if you're a kid, it's like there's already so many IPs for kids that you would already be on one of the big ones, right? No, you, so I've, I've realized like If you're a kid, kids. you're going to be into Pokemon or something, so why the hell are you paying attention to Zoids? I've realized with kids that whatever they see is what they're into. Right, but it's like, how many kids are into Zoids? Someone's into Zoids. All right. Oh, I've seen this before. I recognize this character. Tensai right. Bakuban. It's Shinya Tensai Bakuban, the original family comedy manga. This is like a famous manga. I've seen this face around. An idiotic boy and his father. All right. Right. I've seen this ma like this manga and like pictures of it. Uh, and I think is it a Shonen Jump manga? I want to say I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I've definitely seen like images of this. It's like I've never read it. It's like there's that. Uh, is this the one with the cop? Right, where the dude is a. I guess if you like very Japanese comedies yeah this is a very japanese thing it's one of those mangas that's been like super popular and running in japan for like a zillion years and has never been adapted or brought over yeah. to america ever because it's not for us um it's one of those i think I've, I've seen this so much it's like so iconic but i've never actually watched or read any of it i've only seen the images all right what <laughs> Second season. Who the hell is that kid? I never heard of the first season. So Marvel Future Avengers second season. So apparently it's an anime made in Japan, but it's Marvel. So it's the Avengers. I see Captain America. I see Iron Man. I see Thor. I see Hulk. I see someone else I don't recognize. Yep. And I see some kid. Yep. Some anime kid. But it's the animation style is a little bit less anime and a little bit more American comic book. Yep. It gives me a little bit Teen Titans Go by. Oh, is that, I see the Wasp. Uh, who else? I don't know who that is with the yellow hair. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I guess if you like the Avengers and you're not satisfied with the Avengers content in the United States, I I even liked that uh, Wolverine thing. Who's making this thing? Madhouse. Yeah. All right. Uh, maybe it's good. I don't fucking know. Future Card Shin Buddy Fight. Did card we, we've already talked about Future Card Buddy Fight. It's yes, we've talked about it at most five times, so this is the sixth time we yeah. can say. Who, who are, it's, it's down there with the Zoids and the Beyblades and the... I feel like if we ran a panel on Future Card Shin Buddy Fight at a convention, there'd be three people who would show up and know everything about it. That's right. Oshiete Maho no Pendulum. Rilu Rilu Fairy Lu. I think I got that one right. I think I, I think, think you got that one right. right. Okay. The third season of Relu Relu Fairy Lou. Do you want to follow a girl who stumbles into the Fairy Lou world and goes on adventures? I think this is just cute kids I show. I think just preschool kids show. Fairy Lou. Like card capture soccer, but for even younger children. Yeah, or like My Little Pony, like OG. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's that's it. Not a lot of anime in the summer. I feel like this was. A pretty good looking season. Yeah, I think maybe because there's less anime. It feels there's like, like there's six, less. There's like six shows I'm gonna watch. I haven't, gonna... I haven't counted them, but it feels like there's less shows than the yeah. previous season. And it feels like the shows were a hit or missed. Like it's either watch it or don't. There weren't. I didn't even use the word generic even once. Yeah. Last time I kept I kept saying the word generic. Oh, it looks like a generic anime. And that like I don't even think I said it even one time here. Yeah. And it's crazy that anime seasons one month apart could be so different. Do they put out different animes in the summer on purpose? Is that like a, a property of the summer season? I don't know, because I never thought about when anime came out, because mm -hmm. when we first got into anime, we were still dug through the backlog of anime that came out a decade before we started watching it. Yeah. All right, so yeah, let us know if we uh, judge the previous season well, and whether we judge this season well. Uh, and there you have it. Uh, yes. Keep come back in the fall. I guess. Like and subscribe. Yeah, no, don't do that. What? There's a like button <laughs> like right there. Yeah, somewhere. Whatever.